film. Hey everybody, this is Jeff Alquist on Flash Professional. Hello, I'm here with my friend Tarek, and I'm going to show you this really cool demo that I did using Flash and Air and all these devices that you see laid out here on the desktop. First of all, you'll notice I have a Galaxy Tab, and you see I've made a little remote control. I'm going to try to get out of the sun. Um, I have, you can see all my little devices I've, uh, I've put here on my remote control, plus a little guy here that I can control the motion of my digger. So let's see the demo. Here's all the devices. They're all turned off. I'm going to use my remote, remote control. I'm going to turn them all on. There they go. They've all powered up. So now you can see the little digger here on the, this is a standard Macintosh laptop, and everyone is familiar with Flash Professional on the laptop. We have been a mainstay of the Mac and Windows browser market for a very long time, having very high usage rates. But people say, what about the iPad? What about the iPhone? I want my application, I want my Swift, I want Flash on the iPhone. Well, we have it. You'll notice right here, the digger can crawl across from the laptop to the iPad using the exact same Swift. And there they are working together. I didn't have to reprogram this at all. But that's great, but there's other devices out there. There's Android, and who wants to have to port their app to Android? Well, with Flash, we take care of that for you. Now you can see the little digger is digging right over to that Android device. You can see there's a zoom up on the top, and then he can move down a little bit. And here we have the one digger digging flawlessly, seamlessly, between an iPad, an Android Zoom, a Galaxy Tab, and a little iPod. All working together, all with the same Swift. Now, I'm going to zoom over here, crawl over here. While he's crawling, people say, well, how did you do that? I thought Flash wasn't on the iPad. Well, I took that Swift that I made for the desktop, and I recompiled it, and I built an application using Adobe Air. Very easy, very quick, very convenient. Here he is over here on the the uh, iPad 1, this is an old iPad 1, um, that's an Android smartphone that he's crawling over, and finally he's going to end up over here on the Windows desktop, again, one of the classic places where Flash has 98% of the market on Windows. So, remember, the thing i like everyone to know is that Flash is still on all the devices, it's still super easy to use. I'm going to turn him around, let's see, see if he can crawl back the other way. So there he is, I turned him around, and now our good friend the digger is going to crawl from Windows back to the iPad, across all the smart devices, the Galaxy tabs. Here we are back on the iPhone, and the Zoom, and the iPad, and back home where he likes to be on the Macintosh laptop. So that's why our little digger here shows that Flash is still everywhere. Flash is on all the devices. One Swift will let you seamlessly port your application using all the power of flash and air. And my name is Jeff Alquist. I'm an engineering manager, and I just wanted to show you guys why I still like flash.